Anesthetize animal in a sealed chamber with 3% isofluorine and oxygen for 3 minutes. Once adequately anesthetized, move animal to the workbench where continuous volatile anesthetic, 1.5% isofluorine and oxygen, will be administered by nose cone. Clip the ventral neck and upper thoracic regions and apply a chemical depilatory for 1 minute, then remove with cotton swabs, followed by an alcohol wipe. Inject 1 milliliter of saline intraperitoneal by grasping the abdominal skin and subcutaneous tissue with forceps and sharply entering the peritoneal cavity with a 25 gauge needle. After intraperitoneal injection, allow animal to recover for 4 hours. Prepare the surgical workbench in an area separate from where the animals were clipped and turn on the bead sterilizer 30 minutes prior to surgery. Repeat initial anesthetization step and transfer the animal to the surgical workbench. Prior to the procedure, apply protective eye ointment bilaterally. Swab the skin with provodone iodine solution, followed by 70% isopropyl alcohol. Place a sterile dra drape over the surgical site. Identify the right external jugular as a darker area to the right of the midline and sharply incise the skin and soft tissue of the neck above it. Navigate through the planes of tissue by using the blunt dissection technique pictured to expose the right external jugular. Ligate the small vessel coming off the jugular by occluding it and stretching it with forceps. Continue the isolation of the jugular by inserting forceps and bluntly dissecting away surrounding connective tissue. Once the vein is fully isolated, break the surface tension by adding saline. Then use the probe to insert a 6 -0 suture beneath the vein. Use the probe to protect the vein as the suture is pulled through. Clip and separate the sutures, then tie a knot in the cephalic suture. Advance as far superior as possible, then ligate the jugular by tightening the knot with forceps. Perform a veinotomy using a microdissection scissors just proximal to the ligating suture. Insert the mouse jugular catheter to the vein and advance 4 millimeters. Secure the catheter in place with two square knots and clip the remaining suture. Through the skin incision, create a subcutaneous pocket using the curved scissors. Keep the tissue lubricated by adding saline.
guide the osmotic pump through the skinned incision to the subcutaneous pocket. Close the wound with three closure clips. Apply antibiotic ointment to the wound. Using your fingers, ensure that the catheter coming out of the pump is not kinked. Subcutaneously inject 0.25 milligrams of buprenorphine in one milliliter of normal saline.